waiting for months for this one, and it's finally arrived. Frank Chimizo, two-time world champ, versus Kyle Dake, two-time world champ. We are underway already, and immediately we're seeing Dake taking ground, a couple stutter fakes. Yeah, look for Dake to be the aggressor. Chimizo, blue singlet, blue shoes. Kyle continuing to bang on the head, move him around a little bit here. They control in the center early. They're already uh, indicating towards Frank. The mad official said blue action. You see Frank Chimizo got those deep fakes, level changes, sets up his outside step. Is Chimizo's gonna go on the shot clock or get his first warning, excuse me. First passivity against Frank Chimizo, 2.15 to go in the first. Neither guy would pull off a, a big attack yet. Frank controlling the elbow. Underhook there for, for Dake. He's going to be good at that position, but Chimizo's got, Chimizo is good in, in basically every position, upper body, leg attacks. But you got to be careful. If Dake can get to his lock here, he's very dangerous. And that's a chin and arm. Uh -oh. cow the catcher. back. And Chimizo kind of shrugs it off. Fingers, clear Chimizo the fingers, didn't look up. terribly comfortable in that seatbelt position there with, with Dakes. Uh, looked Red looked like he was okay to wrestle out of there. Basically, he's cleared. It's still in an underhook, but decent head position. Now they're cleared out of it completely. Stop. Stop. Yeah, let's see here. Passivity against Kyle. Each guy been hit halfway through the first period. No score, 30 more seconds without one. And we'll see someone on in the shot clock. Double control for Chimizo there. He's got... Beautiful slide by, he's really good when you're on his leg, and of course his outside step is what he's best known for from an offensive perspective. Takes high crotch, knee pull single is extremely efficient when he pulls the trigger. He's very good, great finisher, and he can come up around the body as well. Dake's gonna go on the clock. Wow, I kinda thought. Well, no, Chim Chim way, but he's Chim Chim center. seemed like he was holding center there, and that's, that's probably why. Inside control there's Dake. And the clock doesn't seem to be running. No clock's running, we're good. Okay, I can't see the yellow yeah. on the thing. Yeah. The level changes, Dake's trying to, there's another shot. And they're gonna put up the one. There's the one point, shot clock expires. One point on the board for Chimizo. Out of the fingers. So we'll see if Dake looks for one late in there. He's in on the leg, oh. but Chimizo gets out of it. Able to elude away, and the foot did step out, I believe. Oh, wow. I missed it. I yeah, saw apparently. it right over on the edge. So another one late. Eagle Eye Bader all over it. 12 right. seconds to go. Dake in the lead. And that'll do it for the first period. 1-1 one, one criteria lead for Kyle Dake. It was a shot clock point earned for Chimizo and then a step out off a, uh, like an ankle pick or, or I guess it was after the ankle pick. He stepped out yep. of it and then just kind of closed distance and got Chimizo to step out. In the last 12 seconds of the first period, you see Dave Dean and Mike Gray in the corner for Kyle Dake. Kendall Cross and Nestor Taffer in the corner for Frank Chimizo. There's Valentin Kalika on towel duty. Back out to center they come. We'll see if either guy lets a little more fly. Pretty reserved start to the first period. And all these matches are gonna be question marks around shape and, and how the matches progress, obviously, with what's going on in the world and, and how people have been able to train. Yeah, start the clock. Quick restart, we're gonna get this period going. So would you see a potential another shot clock on this in this period? And if so, does it go the other way? If, if, yeah, if action progresses the same way? Yeah, potentially.
And so, as we settle this quick situation here, they're going to get it together, and, and we're going to get this last period going. And do you think we see, Christian, do you think we see more attacks in this period than we did in the first? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a feeling out process. As, we, as we've been saying, you know, these two wrestle a very unique style. And, like, Dake's never felt anyone like Chimizo and vice versa. So I, I think what we're seeing, and now we're back underway, is, is both guys are just so difficult to get to. And there you see looking for that I mean, outside step duck for Dake. Now he's really yeah, coming soon. after him early. What's interesting about Chimizo is he got, kind of has a pretty upright stance. Hard left leg lead, you would think that would set up a single leg for, for Dake, but is so comfortable. There's a re-attack, head outside, good position. Who's in good position here? Yeah, who's... Chimizo looking to step over, comes over the hip of Dake, and he's gonna go... I think that's gonna be too blue. blue. Dake's gonna come over at the top, continuing this scramble, no points awarded yet. How and what's gonna happen here? I, I think I saw two awarded over here. They're gonna wrestle through this position before we get anything squared away. And Chimizo is gonna catch the ankle. They're gonna continue to wrestle through. And two on the board for Chimizo. He's gonna lead 3-1 here. Still over two minutes to wrestle. And Dake's gonna work his way back on the top. He's gonna score the takedown. Should be one reversal. And I think it was two offered. We'll see what's confirmed. And maybe it was one and one, I think, can be confirmed, because I think he might be right. We'll see what goes on the board. It does go one on the board. So Chimizo with a one-point lead. Just under two minutes to go. And gotta be careful oh, here if you're take that back. There it is. One point lead for Kyle Dake, 4-3. And we talked about his gut wrench and how good he is on top, especially to the right side. And uh, man, he just picked one up. Right side gut, you know what's coming. Frank Chimizo has wrestled some of the best parterre wrestlers in the world, and he couldn't stop that right side gut. So it's Chimizo's initial score off the exposure, a reversal for Dake, and then when he gets on top, he takes advantage of the situation with a beautiful gut wrench to the right side just before they go out of bounds. So 90 seconds to go, it's a one point lead for Kyle Dake. <laughs> that, that whole sequence was pretty fun. Um, the kind of vibes were tangled up. Both guys kind of had each other off the mat at one point. And it was Frank that initiated the, the attack, went head outside and you know, that when both guys shoot, they're in the other guy's wheelhouse. You yeah. know? And yet, uh, Chimizo was able to figure out a way to score. Dake drops down, comes back up. Yeah, Chimizo, you're there. Chimizo with that, that, that upright stance, but it looks like his feet are light. Like, it, you know, you, you, you go for it and it's not there. So 46, Chimizo's got to go. He's kind of almost a grimace on his face. You, you wonder if that's if that's real or if he's playing possum. Dude, I think it's I think it's possum. <laughs> we'll see. You know, and it might wait till there's 20 to go, 15, but I believe he will go and try to explode into Kyle at some point. 25 to go. Chimizo needs an attack. Jake, good position here. Chimizo would be in the lead if he got a one by criteria last score, I believe, because they both would have a two and two ones. And Mike Gray says, roll and start, be ready. Be ready for a quick strike from Chimizo. He can level change so fast. And he's in he's on the in. leg. Short time, can he finish? Six seconds. He's close, nothing yet. Oh, great defense by Kyle Dake, went chest trap. Now he's gonna go around the belly and he's gonna stare at the clock. And wow. hang on for the victory. But a fun finish in that one, and it's gonna be Kyle Dake 4-3 over Frank Chimizo. A fantastic one and a fantastic finish here and in our main winner. event of the evening. For an incredible decision. match. As we expected, Chimizo was gonna come at the end, but we've seen Dake get to that position where guys are doubled off and he can sit and chest wrap. He did that against Sahid Valencia in Final X, and great defense saves him, keeps him, uh, gives him the win in that match.